Darren, State Attorney Joseph LaMotta said in court today that this kennel has a long history of complaints. In fact, even one person had called to complain after they went there to get a dog, brought it home, and that dog later died. But Jeffrey Borowski's attorney said today the reason why the kennel, the kennel rather, was in such deplorable condition was because his client has serious mental health issues. It was December of 2008 when 275 animals were removed from the Bethany property of Jeffrey Boyarski. Although he was operating a licensed kennel, dogs and birds were living in deplorable conditions. Department of Agriculture officers remember the scene well. You know, when you have dead animals there, animals are just laying in, in frozen water, water bowls are frozen, uh, the air quality and where those birds were kept, you could, a human being couldn't even breathe it. Imagine what these birds were like living in there 24-7. I mean, it's horrible, horrible conditions. Almost four years later, Boyarski, 64, stood before Judge William Holden awaiting his fate. He pled guilty to five counts to cruelty to animals and five counts of conspiracy to commit cruelty. The cow that he was operating was determined to be unsuitable for the animals. Although the state was asking for two years in prison, Boyarski walks away with a 10-year suspended sentence with a three-year conditional discharge, meaning no more kennels in this state or any other. He also owes the state $3,000. The state wanted to send a message about deterring puppy mills, but does this sentence really do that? Well, I don't know if locking him up would have been uh, any more of a deterrent. Uh, he's lost his kennel. He lost... Uh, any source of income that he had. That was the whole purpose is, is that there is a deterrent, that it would show people that you cannot do this to animals and expect to walk away from it. Boyarski's lawyer says his client is a broken man. He's bipolar, depressed, and on disability. Now divorced, his kennel gone. He told Judge Holden Boyarski has nothing to live for. Jail doesn't have to be the ultimate punishment for people. Losing his livelihood uh, should suffice, and if they feel like he deserved more, then it's just a difference of opinion. Now, the judge is allowing Boyarski to keep one dog that was currently in his possession, and in court it was said that it was well cared for, but that's it. We're live in New Haven tonight. Jamie Muro, News 8.